different types of fiber. First, we have soluble fiber. Soluble fiber dissolves in water. It forms a gel-like substance that retains more water and softens your stool as a result. It has added benefits, though, of slowing your gastric emptying, making you feel full easier, and that regulates your blood sugar. You can find soluble fiber from things like beans, lentils, citrus fruits, but also psyllium husk, which is an over-the-counter fiber supplement you can get anywhere without um, the prescription if you want to take that. This is very useful. I use it in patients with constipation because it helps soften their stool, but also with diarrhea because it helps absorb excess water. This keeps your stool in that perfect shape, a Bristol stool scale of four, if you know what I'm talking about. Then we have insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber does not dissolve in water. It adds bulk into your stool and increasing bulk into your stool basically stimulates your peristalsis or colonic movement and shortens your colonic transit time. You can get this from things like wheat bran, whole grain, seeds, nuts, the skin of fruits, leafy green vegetables. This is great for constipation, but it can worsen bloating and IBS. And then the last one is prebiotic fibers. This type of fiber is fermented by your colonic bacteria. They produce short chain fatty acids as a result. Short chain fatty acids help nourish your gut microbiome, your colon cells, reducing inflammation. And you can get these uh, from things like any as a supplement but also from foods from like resistant starches such as potatoes this is really beneficial for overall gut health but again in some patients with ibs the excess fermentation can worsen their gas and bloating so keep this in mind